Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review on the newest addition to the Dior Backstage Collection. This is the eyeshadow palette in Amber Neutrals. So if you're interested in seeing my reviews, some swatches, and of course a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing, then just keep watching. Dior added a brand new product to their Backstage collection which came out this past summer. I actually have two separate reviews on a few products from the collection. I will link them down below for you guys. And I thought it was an amazing collection. They did a really good job with it. They kept the prices much lower than their regular line and I just really liked the packaging of it and all of the products were genuinely really good. So I'm really excited because they did add a new product to this line. I mean I see the Backstage line always on an end capped or having its own display in Sephora's. I think it was a very successful collection and for good reason. The quality is good and the price is lower. What more can you want? So they added a new shade of eyeshadows to the collection. There already were two. There was a cool neutrals and a warm neutrals. I personally didn't pick those up just because I thought the colors were too basic for me and I just didn't want any repeats in my collection. And then they revealed that they were coming out with this and this is by far, in my opinion, the prettiest eyeshadow in the collection. So that is why I picked this one up. I thought this one was good enough for me to get. They do already have a warm neutrals in this collection, but I will say this is by far the warmest in the collection. Definitely more amber as it's stated, but this makes the warm neutrals look not warm at all. <laughs> like this is actually very very warm. So major facts about this guy is it is $49. You can get it right now on Dior.com. I actually didn't see any information about the release of this eyeshadow palette. I just happened to be strolling on the Dior makeup website and I saw that they had just added this on to the Dior backstage palette section. Literally no advertising and I was like um okay order because I was waiting for the release of this because I was so excited for it. Um, at the current moment that I'm filming, I don't even think Tremude has released the release date of it yet. So Dior was really low key about this release. So it is a nine pan eye palette that you are getting. So let's take a closer look at the palette. So it's the same packaging as the other eyeshadows and along the theme of the backstage collection with the clear top. I personally like a really clear covering just because I like being able to see the shadows. Maybe that's the makeup artist in me because it makes it much easier to see what I'm grabbing for. But I've always genuinely just loved clear top packaging. And then the back, you get really good details on the colors. It's not confusing at all because they color coordinated it with the actual color and it tells you what the finish is as well, which is very, very helpful. And then you open it up and you reveal nine shades, one of which is a primer. And then essentially you're getting one highlight, one sculpting powder, three shimmer shades, and three matte shades according to what they claim. So right now I'm going to show you the swatches. As far as the swatches went, I noticed that the mattes were swatching absolutely amazing in this palette. They were so pigmented and they glid very smoothly on my arm. The shimmers are a little bit lackluster, a little bit more sheer, but I will talk about that in a second. So what I think is really neat about this palette is that you do get an eye primer with it, though I think they could have executed it better just because it is open with the other shadows, so you have to be careful when you dip into the powders because you don't want the powder to get mixed up into the eye primer. I am going to add a little note up here about how it wore on me throughout the day because I've never used this, so today I am testing it out. But it went on very smoothly and I mean, I think it's a good idea. It makes it a lot easier for somebody like me who keeps my eye primer far away. At least I can just kind of dip in this and use my finger or you can use a brush. I happen to use a brush today. Also at the top you get what they claim is a sculpting color and a highlighting powder. So this as a highlighter for me may be just a tad tad too deep. I did put it under my eyebrows and as an inner corner color which you guys will see in the tutorial. It does add a slight glow but I think somebody with a medium skin tone this is going to show up in you very well as a highlighter but for me it is a tad bit too deep but that's no big deal. I can just use it as an eyeshadow shade. And then you do get a sculpting powder which is a matte finish and this is the perfect transition color. I really do like that they added this. This is just the perfect transition color for every look. It's something I'm very comfortable with. It is a bit deep so I did have to go light handed but on somebody with a medium to deep skin tone this is actually quite a good transition color for you. The next row down here we do have the three shimmer colors. You get an orange, a copper red, and then more of a sienna color. What I did notice about the shimmer shades is I would describe them more 
more as a satin rather than a shimmer. They are a little bit lackluster. They are more sheer and definitely more wearable. Personally, I love a really shiny, shiny shimmer with a lot of reflex in it. So this isn't my cup of tea as far as shimmers, but I do know there's a large number of consumers out there who do prefer a more sheer, less reflective shimmer. So if you like that, then these are for you. Like I said, they aren't my favorite shimmer formula and they worked on my lids just fine, but I've just tried way better shimmer formulas that are more for my personal taste. And then you get three deep mattes down here. You have more of like a red, a brick brown, and then you have like a smoky, really deep brown shade. And just so you know, I'm getting most of these descriptions because that's kind of what they're named. <laughs> and I do agree with what they're named. Oh my gosh, these three shades are absolutely amazing. They blend so beautifully on my eyes. They're extremely, extremely pigmented. I had to use a very light hand and just build and they blended so beautifully. If anything, buy this palette for the mattes because the mattes are so beautiful. They're so pigmented, they're so smooth. I have endless amounts of good things to say about the mattes, but like I said, the shimmers, eh. All right, so really quickly, I am going to get into the tutorial using this guy. So I started off with the eye primer. I just used an Anastasia 18 brush to apply that on, though I think you would be totally fine using a finger applying it. Just I just wanted to try it with a brush. And then I started off with the shade Ombre, which of course is that sculpting powder. To apply it, I used a Wayne Goss 16 brush, and I just blended that all over the crease just as my starting transition color. And you can see right here in this clip how dang pigmented it is, but how smooth it blends. The next shade I went into was Red down here in the corner. I used the Wayne Goss 18 and I applied that to my inner and outer corners of my eyelid and just kind of blended that. That really made the look very dramatic and this is a very, very good red. It's not a super bright red, uh, but it definitely brightens up your eyes as red and it's super pigmented. I was very surprised. I thought this would be sheer and it definitely isn't, which is fine with me. And then I took my Wayne Goss number 20 brush and I dipped it into the shade Smoky Brown down here and I just lightly patted it in my inner and outer corner. Oh my gosh, use a very, very light hand for this, build on it, definitely deepen it. I really do like this color to define my looks. And then I just took my MAC shader brush and I went in with the shade Copper Red and I put that on the inside of my inner and outer corner but I still left some space on my lid. This is when the part where you'll see it is a little bit flat. Um, this is the most shimmery of the three shades so it's probably my favorite shimmer shade in this palette but it's definitely more of a satin. It really isn't going to pop but it would be beautiful all over the lid with just that red in the crease. Oof, like more of a subtle smoky red look. Beautiful. And then I took the shade orange right here, which isn't very orange. I would describe it as more of a peach. And I took that just on a bullet brush and I patted that right in the middle on the leftover lid. This is definitely my least favorite color in the palette. It just was super see-through on my eyelid. It really didn't look like too much was on there. So I didn't really like it, but I mean, there is a time and a place for this eyeshadow. And I can see people who want that more sheer finish on your lid. I think you might really like that. I then took the highlight shade, which is called bronze, and I put that in my inner corner and underneath my brow bone. Um, this is definitely more suited as a highlight towards more medium to deep skin tones. This would also be really gorgeous all over the lid as well. And for the final step, I did take the last shimmer, which was Sienna, which normally I wouldn't do that, but I just wanted to try out every shade in this palette, and I ran that along my lower lash line. This has little to no shimmer in it, if you ask me. I definitely would not describe that as a shimmer. It worked out very well on my lower lash line. Again, a little sheer, but I'm not mad at it. I think this would be really pretty blended all over the crease and lid. Just as like a one shade kind of look for every day, I think that's what the shade would be beautiful for. And I, of course, put on my lashes and stuff, and here I am now filming this. I just wanted to make sure I used every shade in this palette. Alright, so final roundup on this palette. I think it is a really, really beautiful palette. Like I've stated numerous times throughout the video, if you like a really reflective shimmer, that's just not what the nature of this palette is, which is okay. I just want to let you know that they aren't super reflective. The mattes in here are absolutely beautiful. They blend with such ease. And honestly, I would recommend this palette for more medium to deep skin tones because it is very, very pigmented. So medium to deep skin tones is definitely something that I feel like you are really going 
to enjoy. Overall, I would rate this palette a 9 out of 10. It is a really good release. It is beautiful and it worked very lovely. Obviously, you know, it's not the most unique palette in the world, but it is in a really small compact palette. You have all the shades you need, so I do think it is a really good purchase if you are thinking about purchasing it. So that is all I have for today's review. Let me know if you're picking this palette up or what your thoughts on it are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you liked it, and of course, thumbs up and comment down below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a great day.